Good afternoon, it's Thursday, it's 3.08 and it's time for you to be adrenalized. That's right folks, it's time to get that blood flowing and get re-energized. Why? Because you're here, you're alive and it's time for you to be motivated to be your best self. Hello everyone, welcome to the Tom Marino Show. I am your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning in today on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, August the 25th. Holy cow, August is coming to an end. We are at that, oh my God, it's the end of summer, man. I can't believe how quick summer has gone. Uh, Kids go back to school next Thursday, September 1st. All right, all my teachers out there, all of you that may be listening, Enjoy your last several days of vacation and enjoy this time. Take time for you. Make sure you're doing something that you need to do for yourself before you get back into a hustle and bustle of school and all of the things that occupy our lives. This is uh, September is always that month of adjustment. And we're going to be talking about some topics on how to adjust to new routines, especially for new parents that are going, hey, their kids are going to school for the first time. These are major adjustment times. So during September, we're going to be talking about adjustment and how to get through that. Before we get into today, today's show, um, I want to first thank our sponsor, Newhouse Restoration, where they turn your damaged old house into a new house. Visit them at newhouserestoration.com. That's newhouserestoration.com. If you had fire damage, flood damage, sewer backup, you have an asbestos issue, contact Newhouse Restoration by calling them 631-604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. And hey, they're hiring. Josh and, and Kristen, the work is moving so fast. They need some help. They're looking for good people that want to learn restoration. If you're not sure and you want to try something new, reach out to Josh and Kristen because they are hiring. They're looking for new people. So check it out. Newhouserestoration.com. I also want to thank my other sponsor, Ticket Time, my friend Tom over at Ticket Time USA. If you need tickets for concerts, sporting events, comedy shows, Broadway, and you need them anywhere in the United States, just reach out to TicketTimeUSA.com. That's TicketTimeUSA.com or call them at 516-588-TIXX. That's 516-588-TIXX8499 and Tom will take care of you. Just tell them that Tom Marino sent you. All right. So let's get into today's show. I am so pumped and excited. You guys can't see this yet. You'll see it on my YouTube channel. But we have uh, Steve DeAngelis here. And Steve is the owner of MMP Creations, which is a creative content agency that's helping businesses connect with their communities through media and experiences. So Steve, welcome to the show, man. Thanks for having me. That was a great intro. Hey, listen, I try. Hey, and you wrote it, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Steve, I, this is so cool. What what you can't see is behind the scenes right now, we have Connor who's filming Steve and I, and that'll be available on our website uh, when when everything is when everything's said and done. Uh, but it's so great. Thanks for being here. Thanks for bringing Connor with you. Of this course. is so cool. This is a cool experience for me to have like that behind the scenes look. So, Steve. Tell everyone about MMP Creations, tell them about you, and let's get rolling. Yeah, I mean, we uh, MMP Creations does creative content for businesses. Our goal is to get you noticed. It's to help you stand out in a you know crowded world. There's so much content on social media. How do you get found? How do you stand out from people in your industry? Yeah, it's, I, it's the creative is the, the, you know, that's the variable that's different. Yeah, it's so true. You're right. You're using the key words there. How do you get yourself to stand out from everybody else? Yeah. Right? I mean, standing out from other people, how do you do that for yourself? How do you do that for your company? Yeah, so for us right now, we just started putting out a lot of content ourselves, uh, just kind of showing the behind the scenes, showing the process of what we're trying to build um, as a business ourselves and uh, you know how we're working with our clients and maybe you know someone that's watching along with us will will learn. And what size businesses do you typically work with? So the businesses we work with all size businesses um, from startups to you know fully formed mature businesses. Mm-hmm. But the the way that we work with them is a little bit different. So startups we generally do like a you know it's kind of a Kickstarter type of package for them where we give them all the evergreen content that they could need, mm-hmm. stuff to help them stand out on their website stuff that they can use over and over on social media. And then after a short engagement, say, hey, take all this stuff, use it. And then when you've grown to the size where you're ready for us to help you grow your business, then that's when we, we step back in. Because for, for a lot of people, our, our services are a little 
you know, they're too costly for a small business a lot of the time. Right. Which is, which is, you know, people got to start somewhere and mm -hmm. that's pretty cool that you have that Kickstarter piece because I remember when I started out, I had nothing. Yeah. Right. I, I barely did social media. Like my social media was maybe going on Facebook and posting a few things once in a while. But then I got into, you know, Instagram and LinkedIn and, and there's just the different, and now TikTok, man. Yeah. TikTok. It's it, crazy. All the different platforms. I mean, it's social media is just a tool, right? Mm -hmm. To try to reach different people. It's just where the attention is yep. at the current time. So you have to be nimble and you have to figure out, okay, where are people actually paying attention? Yeah. And, and when the next hottest thing comes along, everyone will all go be do there. That. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, I feel like there's been this progression from Facebook to Instagram to TikTok, like, and, and, and even, and LinkedIn kind of has been that one that kind of stays constant, right? Because mm -hmm. it has the small businesses, it has business owners, and it's really more of a place where people are looking for opportunities for careers and, and things like that. And it tends to be a little bit more professional. Yeah, people are always looking for jobs, but there's still a lot of people that are putting out content on there daily and there's still not enough of it. Yeah, I read something quite insulting yesterday <laughs> about how China feels like they've made the American people dumber through TikTok dumber than they anticipated. I was like, I don't know how to take that. I don't think we're dumb. I think we just like to be entertained. Right? Yeah, I think the, the attention span is uh, shrinking. Yep, it is. So Steve, how do people uh, reach out to you? Where where can they get you the best? Yeah, so we're we're uh, very active on Instagram at MMP Creations. And uh, my email is steve at mmpcreations.com. Awesome. You can reach out that way. So Steve at mmpcreations.com. That's a that's so easy. MMP. What does MMP stand for? So it actually doesn't really stand for anything. Um, back when we were starting the business, uh, uh, the first business that I that I was in, we stumbled upon the name MMP, and uh, it just never came to be because it didn't. It stood for Middleman Productions. Okay. Which we were trying to change the stigma of the word middleman, but the thing okay. is you can't do that yeah, because uh, people don't like a middleman. Right. So I just, when I created this new business, I didn't really have a name. I just wanted to throw a name on it, not think about it anymore and just move forward with building the business. Awesome. So I just used MMP because it had a story behind it. See, people, you don't have to think so hard. <laughs> you just, you just sometimes got to roll with it. It doesn't have to necessarily mean anything. Not the hours that we spend thinking about what we're going to call something or what we're going to do just slows us down tremendously. Yeah. And I, I did do that. I did spend the hours <laughs> and I still came up with nothing. So. <laughs> well, maybe the process worked out better because yeah. I think MMP creations. All right, cool. Sounds good to me. And middleman productions is not a bad thing because you really serve as that middle ground for people who are trying to produce content. So you're in the middle between the owner and the social media platform that you're providing that that content too. I like that explanation. If you could tell every single person that told me it's a bad idea, that would be cool. I, I think you got to look at it that way. I mean, th listen, what is my job as a coach? Change perspective, right? Uh, yes. Did we just change the perspective? Uh, my on that? perspective has changed. It worked. And there call, you go. Give Tom a call. Give Tom a call. Listen, if you have a question, you want to talk about content, if you're a business owner and you're struggling with content creation, give us a call at 631 451 1039. That's 631 451 1039. We are live in the studio. We are at McArthur Airport on this beautiful day, August the 25th. And if you've been listening, we've been talking to Steve DeAngelis from MMP Creations, which is a content creation company company. So Steve, what's a big project you're working on right now? We have a lot of big projects to work on right now. A few big clients, um, Buzzed Coffee, a new coffee place that's a chain on Long Island now. Um, it's brand Saltwater Long Island. Okay. Um, yeah, I saw the Saltwater. The, yeah. I saw that interview. That was really cool. They're just phenomenal people and it's a great brand. Awesome clothing. Like it, I can't speak highly enough about their brand and what they've built. So we're very lucky to be working with them. Um, and yeah, for us, our, our big project for the summer is Statfest, which is our music festival. You said it in the intro that summertime's coming to a close, but the brand Statfest stands for summertime all the time. Oh, uh, so summertime summer really all the never, time. It never ends. All right. So we are definitely going to get into Statfest because I, I want everyone to hear a little bit more about that. But uh, Steve, again, where, where is the best place to reach you? That's uh, at MMP Creations on Instagram, or my email is steve at mmpcreations.com. Fantastic. All right, everyone, we're going to talk to Steve after this commercial great break. But uh, listen, if you haven't already and you have a couple minutes and you're not driving, go to Instagram, 
go and follow me at Tom Marino Coaching. That's Tom Marino Coaching. And also go follow my friend Steve at MMP Creations. All right, we'll talk to you right after this break. Are you tired of nosebleed seats and extra fees? Do you want premium seats at affordable prices? Hey, this is Tom Marino from The Tom Marino Show, and I want to tell you about the best way to get premium tickets at affordable prices for your next concert, sporting event, comedy show, Broadway show. And if you need them anywhere in the United States, just contact Ticket Time. That's TicketTimeUSA.com, TicketTimeUSA.com, and tell them that Tom Marino sent you. And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, success and mindset strategy coach, Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, August the 25th. We are approaching uh, the end of summer, but my guest has reminded me that summer can exist all of the time. Uh, We've been speaking with Steve DeAngelis. If you're just tuning in, uh, Steve is the owner of MMP Creations, which is a creative content uh, company that works with businesses to really help build and represent your status online and to give you the content that you need to put out there to help people recognize your business, your brand, the whole thing. So Steve, let's talk about StatFest since I started out that way. So summertime all the time. Tell us about StatFest and how you developed that. Yeah. So um, StatFest was the, I guess it was the amalgamation of a lot of different things that we worked on. So uh, my partners in that are Ryan Costello and Matt Ferrara. And uh, we started this creative community called Movers back in like 2017. Uh, it was really just like a networking group for creatives on the island. And we took all the talents of those people and created a music festival out of it. We had audio engineers, we had videographers, we had bands, we had every, all the pieces that we needed. Um, so we created this music festival back in 2019. Uh, in Farmingdale, we had about 1,500 people. And, uh, you know, 2020, obviously, we didn't do it, but we came back strong last year at the Salt Shack. And this year, we're having it again at Salt Shack on September 24th. And where is that located? Cedar Beach. So it's uh, Babylon down down on the water. Uh, and what's the date of the... Uh, Saturday, September 24th. It's September all day, 24th. Yeah, it's an all-day all right. event. All day. And what kind of bands typically come? So we have a lot of reggae rock bands, huh. um, a lot of amazing local talent. Uh, you know, toes in the sand. It's it's a great time. We have a uh, three stages going all day long. That's probably awesome. Probably about eighteen acts throughout the day. Uh, have you gotten our friend uh, Anthony Nazalillo there from Once Believed? I'm gonna have to gonna have to speak with him. Yeah, absolutely. So Nas, if you're listening, man, you need to get to Stat Fest. I heard his band play over at uh, Patty Power Merrick a couple weekends ago. They're really good. They're really good. Very talented. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, And, you know, I had Anthony on here a couple months ago. He's a great guy. Um, So, StatFest. All right. Summertime all the time, people. I may think it's the end of summer, but Steve has convinced me otherwise. September 24th. (laughs) That sounds awesome. I can't wait. All right, man. So, let me ask you a question. What is your process like when you bring a new client on? Like you've identified, so a new business, let's say uh, any new business wants to work with you. What would be your process to helping them out? Yeah. So generally we spend some time with them, learn about their business, learn about really what they're trying to do, where they want to be and try to develop a strategy to help them get, you know, help them reach their goals there. Uh, a big portion of that is to develop as much content as possible for them that they can use. I think that, people aren't doing enough because you just can't put enough content out there Mm -hmm. on all the platforms. So when we're saying enough, uh, we generally do a monthly video shoot with our clients for four hours, a half day shoot, and we'll get anywhere from 75 to 150 pieces of content out of those four hours. Now that's with, you know, good strategy and planning ahead of time and a decent amount of time spent doing that. Right. Um, but we, our focus is to get as much content as possible so that we can post two, three days on every single platform, two, three times a day on two, every single times. platform. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, if you're going to do that, you definitely need 
at least 90 pieces of content in a, in a one month period. I mean, yeah. it, it, it really is the consistency of the posting, right? Once mm-hmm. you start, you gotta, you gotta maintain that. It's really hard to fall off the wagon, but that sounds, uh, so four hours mm-hmm. with good planning. I mean, so what is like that strategy planning process look like? I mean, it depends. It really does depend on the business. Uh, a lot of the times we're trying to show off the people that run the business. We're trying to make a connection with the community, which mm-hmm. is I think is lacking in a lot of the marketing that's happening on Long Island right now. It's pretty pictures of food right. or you know, nice pictures of the clothing if you're a lifestyle brand. Right. But people want to connect with the community. And they, yep. that's the thing that I think has gone by the wayside um, on Instagram, on Facebook. People aren't they're they're focused on the pretty thing, not on Right. Building a relationship, and that's how we use social media, the tool, to build a relationship with your audience. Right. And, and I mean, that that's the whole point of being on social media. Social yeah. media social. was to be social, right? I mean, I always tell the story, like, when I started college in 1995, okay? 1995, I started college. We got a Facebook, mm-hmm. and it was a meat book of all the freshmen, okay? It, it's, we used to call it the meat book, right? Because it was people that you were going to meet in your class. You, it had another connotation, but well, we won't go into that. But basically, I mean, Facebook was, and, and then Zuckerberg, a couple of years later, comes up with this thing, and it's, it's brilliant, but it started on college campuses. That's mm-hmm. where it all started. And the whole point was to invigorate your social lives on, on campus and get to know people and interact with people that way. It's social media, when you post uh, your dinner, it shows what you're doing, but it doesn't, you don't necessarily connect unless it's the same food you like to eat. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Well, I mean, there's, there's value to that too. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, I find a nice restaurant from a friend who posted a dinner that they had and right. I went, oh, I'm going to go check out that restaurant. And now that business has earned some business. Correct. Um, it's a secondary benefit. It's yeah, not the primary course. benefit. And like I posted a reel packing up to go to Myrtle Beach, right? Mm-hmm. Has nothing to do with my business but I posted it, my, my, my social person was like, just shoot that time-lapse video of you packing up the car. I get like four or 500 views on a lot of my, con- my posts, right? Mm. This one got 27,000. What's the rhyme? What's the reason? There's like, no rhyme or reason. Yeah, so like when you post something, like when you're doing these quality videos, because I saw the ones you did for uh, the Saltwater brand, like that was it, it was it looked so natural and it looked and i think that's really where your expertise is is helping people to look natural mm-hmm. and and look engaging and that it's not because it's hard for people to video themselves and just start talking to the camera yeah and that, i mean that's a, a lot of what we do is coaching in that sense it's behind the scenes directing mm-hmm. them in the moment telling them what to say or, or how to get started. And then people generally fall into a flow, right? You know, like if you have to push someone in, in a radio station to, for an interview, you have to push them in the right direction. And then when they, they catch the spark, they go with it and right. they know what to say after right. that. It's the same thing on camera. It's, it's a little difficult to like stare into a camera like Connor's holding right, right. there exactly. and just talk to it. it I'm not even very yeah. good at it. I, I hate it. It's one of my, <laughs> I can't stand it. But if you put me here and you put me in a situation like this and we're mm-hmm. having a conversation, it's going to be that much easier to do it. But it, it really is a, a hump that people have to get over. What's the biggest block that you see people have when you're working with them that they're struggling to get through? That's a great question. Uh, perfectionism in a sense. Okay. Getting started. So, Got and it. I have suffered with this in the past, or not suffered, but, uh, you know, struggled to just get started and do something and uh, just put the post out there. Nobody really cares. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. At the end right. of the day, how many people are going to see that thing? Right. And they're going to, if you post, you know, that, I, I'll use saltwater as an example. We post three times a day for them on every single platform. That's five or six different platforms that we're putting content on every single day. If someone sees a post and doesn't like it, doesn't matter. Three hours later, there's going to be another Something one. New. You know, 10 days later, there's 15 posts that have gone up. Right. It doesn't matter. Right. And even when you, like, I write a lot of content, especially for LinkedIn and stuff. And I know you've seen a couple of those things. Mm -hmm. I'm writing like mini blogs most days on my content. They're like 300 words, but it's constantly capable of being recycled and refurbished and made prettier. You add a different picture, you delete some stuff, you add some stuff, you spin it another way. It's like once you get started doing it, it, it gets easier to actually do it. Doing stuff like this? Yeah. Like, that's why Connor's here. Yeah. I now have maybe 10 clips out of this right. that I can use on social. You maybe you maybe have eight or nine clips out of this that you can then use. It's 
it's easy to have a conversation. Right. It's just difficult to remember to capture that. Right. Exactly. And to break it down into bite-sized pieces that makes sense. Exactly. All right. We've been speaking with Steve DeAngelis from MMP Creations. And uh, if you haven't already, go follow both MMP Creations and Tom Marino Coaching on Instagram. DM us if you have any questions. You can give us a call. We're here live in the studio at 631-451-1039. 631-451-1039. And we will talk with Steve a little bit more after these commercial breaks. Talk to you soon. Are you tired of nosebleed seats and extra fees? Do you want premium seats at affordable prices? Hey, this is Tom Marino from The Tom Marino Show, and I want to tell you about the best way to get premium tickets at affordable prices for your next concert, sporting event, comedy show, Broadway show. And if you need them anywhere in the United States, just contact Ticket Time. That's TicketTimeUSA.com, TicketTimeUSA.com, and tell them that Tom Marino sent you. And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I am your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Um, if you're just joining us on this beautiful Thursday, the 25th of August, we've been speaking with Steve DeAngelis from uh, MMP Creations, which is a creative uh, content company. Um, working with businesses to promote themselves online. And uh, we've been talking about so many things, Steve. I mean, I, I've lost track already of everything we've talked about. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we've got this really cool thing that Steve does in addition to content creation called StatFest, which is a whole music festival down, where is it again? Uh, Cedar Beach, Salt Shack at Cedar Beach. Salt Shack at Cedar Beach on uh, September 24th this year. It'll be a great event if you're in the neighborhood. Definitely want to check that out. Uh, sounds really cool great time down at the beach we got a uh, our own pineapple beer our own pineapple hard seltzer nice yeah we do a, it's a fun time we pop a, a stage up in the sand we use the stage they have there and then we put another stage inside so we get three going all day yeah that's fantastic and how many people usually come to something like that yeah, between a thousand and fifteen hundred last year was on a sunday and we had a thousand so i'm thinking this year on a saturday we'll probably have closer to two Got it. That sounds really good, man. It's a great time. It's a great time. A beach party on a Saturday. Yeah, be right. Better. At the end of September. Yeah. But summertime all the time. Exactly. Now that's going to be my new thing. Summertime all the time. So, Steve, we were talking during the, uh, the break about, you know, some obstacles and blocks that get in your way. Mm -hmm. You know, like you had on your pre-interview questionnaire, you said that sometimes getting out of my own way is my toughest obstacle. So tell us a little bit about you know, that obstacle of yourself, like uh, what, what happens with you? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of business owners, uh, feel the same way or it, and it's something that I even spoke about before with creating content for people. It's just letting yourself do it, mm -hmm. I think is the biggest thing. Um, I would use the excuse, I guess, of being a perfectionist. Right. But if you tell yourself you're a perfectionist, then you're never going to do anything. Right. It's true. Cause then you have that built in excuse in your mind of why well, I, I can, I'm a perfectionist. It's going to be great when it's done, mm -hmm. but it never is done. So you just have to start and doing something. I mean, putting content out on social media is something that you could start reaching out to potential new clients is something that mm -hmm. I would always be like, Oh, you know, uh, my pitch isn't perfect yet. Yep. Or, you know, my website's not ready yet. I, I need this proof of concept before I can approach this person. And as soon as I just stopped doing that, yep. uh, I saw some growth. Right. And you know what? A lot of people miss the boat on, and I see this all the time, especially people who are starting a new business or want to start a business, is they get st stuck in the perfectionism of it all. And what people forget is, is that it's an evolution, mm -hmm. right? When I think about, and, and, and you've had that evolution too, when I think about when I've started, right? I started out as, as a basic life coach, right? Helping people to navigate life transitions, helping people to, you know, get back on track to find some clarity, get moving and get realigned with themselves. It's the pervasive theme of still what I do today, but it's just how you rebrand it, how you relook at it, and how you just invent reinvent it to keep it fresh, right? And 
you learn so much through the process as the owner of the business, right? And as a coach, I've learned so much. You started out with, with movers and, and you had content and you even were, you were saying you interned for uh, the marketing company for uh, Dear Evan Hansen. How cool was that? Yeah, that I mean, that was a great opportunity out of college. The first job I had was an internship for this agency that did a lot of Broadway shows. I got to go on video shoots and, you know, be a PA for The Color Purple and for... Um, Dear Evan Hansen wasn't, I didn't do any video shoots with them, but I got to read the script and stuff beforehand. And that's like, all that stuff is right up my alley. I'm, I'm a rare breed of, I enjoy lots of different, I enjoy experiences. Exactly. So whether it's a big concert, whether it's uh, a Broadway musical or a sporting event, I, I just can't get enough of that like that feeling and chasing that is that's yeah. what i love about those big experiences that's awesome and speaking about this since my sponsor is ticket time usa i know i gotta meet them ticket time you gotta meet ticket time tom as i call him you know last night we went to see De dear Evan hansen you know the show's closing september 18th and uh, i wanted to bring the kids to to see that to, because i just think it's such a profound play that is so relevant to them being you know teenagers middle school going into and my daughter's still preteen but still being prepared for situations like that and uh it's just it's just amazing you know what goes into a production like that right oh yeah it, it, it's insane but there's so many of us out there trying to do that on our own and being a perfectionist will get in the way of you doing that yeah you just got to do something like we i mean we've as movers as a community we've shot uh, web series, like ten, seven episode web series. We've shot cool. um, a movie that's on Amazon Prime called Ted Skates that my friend Tommy wrote and directed. Like we, and none of them are amazing. Like the film isn't amazing, but it's done. It's out there. Right, like it's he, out there. He made it. And if it reaches one person, yeah, it does and its he job. Has this thing now he's now he's working on HBO shows as a production assistant because he has this proof of concept that he can do something. At least he knows. Mm -hmm how to work on a production but he didn't let not having that stop him from starting and he had no money <laughs> he just yeah. did it that's the thing i was talking to somebody the other day through linkedin we were messaging back and forth and i'm like what's what's holding you back from scaling your business she goes money i said okay so go earn some more uh, yeah well how like just just start to do it just figure out the way if you have your business already you got to innovate mm -hmm. and you got to find new products, right? Like you, I, I know you have a couple of different products that you offer in your business. Is it two or three products now? What are you, what are you offering so we, right now? We offer two products. Um, one is full service. We create your content. We post it for you. Okay. Um, the other is just, we'll create your content and you can have it. So okay. whether that's a commercial that you want or you want a hundred pieces of content mm -hmm. out of a half a day, we do that for you. Um, the, the third that we're developing is kind of like an all in, um, I don't know how to price it yet. We're, we're doing it with a client right now for, as a proof of concept. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a bunch of film dates. It's, we're with you with behind the scenes when you come on Tom's radio show, right. it's just creating content and just hammering a message home on social. Yeah. That, that, that's awesome. And I like what you said that, that you're testing it with the client, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I think a lot of people are afraid to even do to even say to somebody, listen, are you open to testing this with us? Give us the feedback. I mean, Adam and I, Adam Heard and I started Atomic Business Coaching, right? So we're, we worked with a test client to see, to get some proof of concept around our process, you know, melding two processes to make something really great, right? So it's this whole process. It's a 14 week process. We learned that let's try to do it in eight. That was a good feed, piece of feedback that we got from the test client. And, and that's what it's about. Sometimes you just gotta go out and test it. Just go out and do it. To be a perfectionist is non-human. Mm -hmm. We're not perfect. No, yeah, nobody is. And and nothing is perfect. And, you know, that illusion of perfectionism gets in so many people's way. From a saboteur assessment, where, where, you know, I talk about positive intelligence and looking at all your saboteurs, the stickler is that perfectionist, right? Mm -hmm. Because you, you get so stuck in that one place, you go nowhere. You know, and perfectionism is the number one, one of the number one reasons for why people procrastinate. Yeah. So would you say you've procrastinated? Oh yeah, uh, I still procrastinate yeah. to this day. It's the number one thing when I catch myself procrastinating, I, I you know I have to force myself just to do something. Right. You know, get up, go, send a couple emails, and then you get into the flow. Yep. And it's like, all right, cool. Now I'm working. 
Yep. Well, you know, it, it's so true. You know, movement is medicine. I heard that the other day. Somebody said it. I forget where. Um, but movement is medicine. And, and isn't that the case? Like, if you just keep going, you start to activate all the things that need to happen. If you just get moving. But when you stay stuck and stagnant in that place, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, you know, one of the things I was I was telling you before the show, I went out to Wellbridge um, out in Calverton. You know, they do substance rehab. They have a show here also on 103.9 every Wednesday at uh, 3 o'clock. So really cool that we connected and, you know, we met through networkers and all that stuff. And uh, it's it just, when I walked in there, you already start your healing. You already start your healing. Like I just went in to visit, to talk about things and see if there's an opportunity for me to collaborate and maybe do some stuff with them. But just walking in, you start to heal, no matter what, you, because it's just that kind of environment. And we talked about how important environments are. Environment is huge. I mean, it's the, the people you surround yourself with is your environment, yep. um, especially if you're a small business or if you're, you know, even if you're just a person in a not so great situation, find some new people. Absolutely. You got to surround yourself with people of a like mindset. That's and people that are going to build you up instead of tear you down. I would go almost the opposite. A like mindset, yes, to an extent, but also f seek out people who have different mindsets. Seek out people who are, are a little different than you and that have a different perspective. Absolutely. All right, we're going to get into this conversation okay. after this next commercial break. But uh, if you've been listening, this is Steve uh, Tom Marino speaking with Steve DeAngelis from MMP Creations. Uh, we've been talking all afternoon about content and uh, we're going to talk about surrounding yourself with the right people right after this commercial break. So stay tuned. Talk you know what happiness is to you. Hey, this is Tom Marino of The Tom Marino Show here. Imagine you wake up and you've had a major sewer backup in your home. Well, let me tell you about a company that I've worked with personally, Newhouse Restoration, where they take your damaged old house and make it a new house. For any water, fire, mold, or asbestos damage, please call them at 631-604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. Newhouse Restoration. And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach, Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Um, happy August 25th. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, my Mets are back in action tonight after a day off, much needed day off after that tremendous series with the Yankees that they just blew. It's a DeGrom day. We'll be good. Yeah, it's a DeGrom day. It is a DeGrom day. We're going to DeGrominate, which is, which is really cool. Um, and... Uh, We've been speaking with Steve DeAngelis from MMP Creations today, and right before the break, we were starting to talk about surrounding yourself with the right people. From a company standpoint, even a personal standpoint, you need to surround yourself with some people, and Steve and I uh, agreed and disagreed a little bit on finding people, too, with different mindsets in your circle. And I, I totally agree that you need to have other spheres of influence, right? But you have to have that in a way where you're willing to accept that sphere of influence, right? So when someone does differ from you, how do you let that come to you? How do you handle that? Yeah, I mean, I personally, I approach everything almost as like a test mm -hmm. right now. Like I'm, I'm just learning and every single day getting yep. better and learning more information. Um, so for someone who has a different perspective, I kind of look at it as, well, why do they have that different perspective? And what are the factors that led them, whether it's politically or, or otherwise, yeah. um, you know, why do they think the way they think? Right. probably a different scenario or they live in a different life than I do. You know, and that's a great point. I mean, that, that, that's something I always talk with clients about is, is when you're struggling with someone in your life, right? If it's a boss, especially people, you know, I have a woman right now that I'm working with that's changing careers and she's working with somebody who's very difficult, you know, seek understanding, mm -hmm. right? Seek understanding, try to understand why and what, what they're doing because you don't always see all of the things that you need to see unless you start asking those questions of seeking understanding. And I think that's a great philosophy, right? You're right. We are constantly learning and every learning experience is an opportunity that could change your entire life. You never know what's going to come out of that conversation. And differing opinions are really powerful. Mm -hmm. You could really learn. I, I, I remember 
working for some CEOs that I worked for, I can say that they taught me about the CEO I did not want to be and, and, and be the person that I did not want to be. And I think that's such a big and important step that you learn because, and then when you seek the understanding to back it up, then you can explain why. And that's why I'm such a big fan of psychology. Yeah. I mean, you are going to learn every step of the way. And, um, you know, for me, one of the things that you know, I'm trying to instill, I guess, as I start to hire people, as the team starts to grow is like, I want it to be a place where if someone has a concern or a thought, they can bring it to me Mm -hmm. and not be worried that I'm going to react in a certain way. Right. I've been lucky to not really have bosses in the past that have done that. I've had many jobs, um, worked at a bunch of different places and I've never really felt uncomfortable, Mm -hmm. but I've definitely seen differing styles and taking the pieces that I like and try to instill it in myself. And you know, I know I'm not perfect. I'm trying to get better every single day. Right. And, and I think that's the key. And, and, and you really are embracing what we call a learner mindset. I mean, that's, that's what learner mindset's about. It's about asking the questions of, well, what is that person really saying? What does that person really need? Mm-hmm. What is really going on with that person? And give more understanding. And that's, you know, I talk about this a lot because, you know, part of my practice is to be very trauma informed, right? Trauma, I was at Wellbridge earlier and we were talking about trauma and the impact that it has on people's lives. And um, Anissa was saying, you know, it's really about how do we normalize trauma for people? We have to normalize what trauma is. And it's so common. We've all experienced some kind of trauma. Maybe not this devastating trauma, but we all experience that. And when you look at it from that standpoint, you can have more compassion for each other. And that's really seeking understanding is finding a way to be more compassionate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were talking about um, during one of the breaks today about how companies are struggling to find the right people. Yeah. And and you brought up a great point about that, you know, and how the environment or do they want to work for you? Right. So tell, tell everybody what we were talking about in how do you hire and identify the right person? Yeah. I mean, well, you, you said earlier that, uh, what China's making us dumber or something yeah, exactly. through TikTok. People have less attention span, but there's, I think there's just more information out there, right? Mm-hmm. There's more for you to see and the grass is always greener. So you need to make your grass the greenest mm-hmm. to attract people to want to work for you. Right. I've had a lot of businesses that have talked to me and said, well, our big problem right now is hiring. We can't get anyone to work for us. And the, I mean, they just don't want to work for you the way you currently have it set up. You have to make it attractive for them because they have options. Right. That's such a great point. When when you're struggling, because there's so many people out there struggling to hire people right now, it is not easy to find the right people, but you've got to change your mindset around it. It's mm-hmm. what are you doing to make it attractive enough for people to come in and want to work for you and to be there as an employee for you? Because there is so much competition. Because there it is. It, it, the grass may not always be greener. Every business is going to have its problems Every because we're human beings and we're imperfect and we're always going to have those issues. But the bottom line is, is how do you attract the right people? What is it? And one of the things like, you know, you and I have been going through this mastermind together and identifying who our client is, who our ideal client is, right? Yeah. And one of the questions that you ask in developing that client advertise, where does that person hang out? Mm -hmm. You have to think about where does your employee, future employee hang out? Where are you going to find that person? Because if you are a contractor, putting a job on Indeed is not necessarily going to attract your employee. Your employee is probably hanging out at a sports bar or doing something, not to be stereotypical, but like you've got to think about where does your client hang out when they're relaxing and when they're stressed and they're looking for a new job? Where mm-hmm. do they go? Because that's where you're going to find them. And then you got to bring them into an environment that's going to encourage them to be the best version of themselves. And on the flip side, that's a great way to approach it. Another approach could be build a community. Um, that's how we've found and met the people that we've worked with and that we continue to work with to this day for the last five years is we created a community that kind of filtered itself out. Mm -hmm. Um, There were some, some bad apples, I guess, or or people that just didn't fit because they didn't have that like mindset. They weren't striving for something different. Um, and they weren't trying to grow and they just came in with selfish intentions and it was exposed pretty quickly because Mm -hmm. the community kind of weeded itself out. And then you're left with a group of people that you can speak to, or in my case, pull talent from and, and hire and, and right. give them work. Right. Um, 
I love that on the, concept. On the client side of things, I, this actually just happened two days ago. I got a text message from a client. We put a post up and someone commented, uh, "Your these shorts are $99. Why would I buy these shorts? I can get waterproof shorts from Walmart for $16.50. Right. He texted me a screenshot. How do we deal with this guy? I said, you don't. Just leave it. Just leave it. 10 minutes later, a person in their community that we've curated over time and that they've curated over yep. time came out and said, you're not going to get these, these quality shorts from Walmart. Yeah. You're going to go to Walmart, you're going to buy four pairs, and you're going to have to buy four more pairs before you have to buy one more of these. That's awesome. And I love it. I texted him a screenshot back and I said, that's why you don't answer. Yep. That's your, good Your advice. community's going to sort it out for yep. you. Let your community support you. Yep. You don't need to do it. Well, Steve, I can't believe we are at the end of today's show. So thank you so much for being here. Tell everyone how they can reet you. What's the best way to contact you? Yep. First of all, thank you for having me. I, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. And I'm um, looking forward to learning more about Ticket Time and New House Restoration as well. Uh, my phone number is 516-509-3948 if you want to reach out directly. My email is steve at mmpcreations.com. And on Instagram, you can send us a message. That's at mmpcreations. Fantastic. And Steve, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Keep up the good work. Keep working hard. And listen, go on Instagram, follow Steve, follow MMP Creations. Uh, go follow me at Tom Marino Coaching. And listen, if you haven't visited my website, go to tommarino.com. That's tommarino.com. Check out what's going on. We're going to have a new le- website coming out very soon, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're doing a little bit of house cleaning, making it a little bit more user-friendly. So we're excited about that. And uh, I want to hear from you. So reach out to me, fill out a contact form. And if you're a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, a business owner, and you're struggling to scale your business, you're struggling because you're getting in your own way, you're going through a major transition, reach out to me, 516-588-0750. That's 516-588-0750. We'll talk to you next week. And until then, choose your adrenalized life.